Hey everybody, this is Pete Leong here from Photoshisa Photography. Uh, I'm here today to do a, a, another What's in My Bag uh, video, this time about um, uh, what I'd take on a destination wedding. Uh, you may have seen my video I did in the past when I was using Nikon. Uh, that was when I was working uh, with the, the wedding companies here. But now I've uh, broken away and started my own photography company here in beautiful Okinawa. And I'm back to using what I started with, which was Canon. So I'm going to run through just quickly today uh, what I'm going to take with me. I'm leaving for a, a wedding in Australia today. And I'll run through quickly just what I'm going to take with me. So first of all, I'm going to use this bag here as my main camera bag. This is the Think Tank Airport Takeoff. Okay. Had this bag for about six months now and I'm loving it. It's not the cheapest bag but it works great. It's got uh, the wheels in the back uh, on the bottom there. It's got a, it comes, it turns into a backpack as well. And so let's open her up and take a look at what I'll be taking. I try to travel as pretty light as possible. I'm not going to go too crazy on what I take with me. But, uh, let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, so, um, let's see, so two main bodies I'll be using, if you can see there, this is how I will stick my things in, so not all that much stuff in here really, uh, I won't check any of this stuff, I'll carry this all with me, um, stuff that will get checked will be things like flashes, stands and things like that, and then if I do have any difficulties carrying the other gear through, um, because of weight or whatever, I picked up this handy little vest uh, well, last time I was up in North Japan and uh, this is great. Carry this, wear this through the airport security and if need be I can stick all my lenses and uh, all sorts in here. So these are super handy for traveling. Okay, on with the rest of the gear. So two main bodies of course. I'll be taking with me the Canon 1D Mark IV. That's equipped right now with the 50mm 1.2. Okay. Sit that down there. <coughs> and my other camera is the uh, 5D Mark III that I'll be taking along as well. And this one has the 17 to 40 uh, f4 mounted to it right now. So these will be my two main cameras that I'll use on this trip. Okay, set them down there. And to hold them, I like to use the spider holster. Now this thing has been just awesome. I've used this for about a year now, and uh, I would never go back to using camera strap. So as you can see, if you haven't seen it before, you have your spider plate mounted to the bottom of the camera. And this is a dual holster system, so I can hold two bodies. I'm not sure if you can see if I put this on. My head will be out of frame, but you might be able to see my waist here. Okay, so it just pops on like that. And the camera's just going to the side, nice and easy. And it's, it's very quick, easy to access at any time. You can always lock these down too, so that they won't come out. And uh, yeah, I just swear by this thing. They're not cheap, but I just couldn't live without it now. Okay, so that's coming along. And let's see what else we got in here. We have uh, what every wedding photographer must have is the seven, uh, 70 to 200. This is the 2.8 IS version. It's getting on a bit now, but it still works perfectly. It's served me very well for thousands of weddings. And you've got to have a mid range lens. So there's your 24 to 105 F4L. And I'll be upgrading this one shortly to the new 24 to 70 2.8. But uh, it still works fine. I mean, no big issues with it, I just, it's time for an upgrade for that one. And let's move that across. Okay, so these are all the lenses I'll be taking with me. 
not that many. Most of the time, I'll be just using the 17 to 40 and probably the 70 to 200. The next will be the 50, 1, 2, and then this will get used occasionally. But I usually like to stay on the wide angle side of things or up close and personal with the, with the telephotos. That's just my style. Okay, and moving along, got a couple of flashes for doing our uh, off-camera lighting. Okay, so I use the uh, Canon 580EX2, um, but this one, which I more recently came across, the Yong Nuo series of flashes, which are just a copy of the Canon 580EX. They look almost identical, but this is, what, 500 bucks or so? This is about 70 bucks and works just as good. Doesn't have TTL, it's full manual, but it's perfect for what I need. I love these things, I've just ordered another one. They're awesome, and to power those, to trigger those, sorry, I'll have my pocket wizards. Okay, so we've got three, three pocket wizard plus threes here. Okay, I'll just be using probably one flash most of the time, but there might be times when I want to put in a, a, a rear light or an extra light for whatever reason, or one breaks down. It does happen. Um, I love the pocket wizards. I've been using cheap triggers for the last 10 years or so, <coughs> and then in the last couple of years, I've upgraded to the pocket wizards. They're not 100% foolproof. I still have plenty of times when they don't fire for whatever reason. It seems to be the, the hot shoe connector is a little bit little bit uh, dodgy, but uh, for the most part they work pretty pretty reliable. So you've got to have them. A uh, little rocket blower of course to clean off all the gunk. And to put those on, uh, I have a stand. So there's a little Manfrotto stand. This is a bit of a shorter one, which fits in my other check-in bag just fine. And we have a little Manfrotto umbrella mount on top of that. Um, this works great. You don't want to skimp out on the, the umbrella mounts, what attaches to your, your flash at the top here. Because if you get a cheap one, they tend to slide around and your flash will fall out. Uh, I've had flashes smashed a whole bunch of times because I was using cheap umbrella mounts. So don't skimp out on the top part there. You want to make sure it's held in place tightly. And um, so a lot of the time I'll be working with bare off-camera flash. But when conditions permit, or when I need it, I have this great little Lastolite umbrella. And it's tiny, you can fit it in your pocket. And it's just awesome. So it's just that big folded up. But when we open it up, I think you've got a 32 inch umbrella or 36, 32 inch shoot through. Perfect for traveling with. So that will come with me. <clears throat> Uh, for places like parties or certain times when I need a little bounce card, I have the Rogue uh, uh, Flash Bender. Okay, Rogue Expo Imaging were nice enough to send me out of uh, this and a few other little bits and pieces for, for a little uh, present for uh, doing a blog about them. And these work great. You can just pop them around the top of your flash and bend and shape the light. You can use it as a snoot and all sorts. And they're tiny. So, packs up that flat, so that will definitely be coming with me. And next we have a, a few filters. Okay, just a few ND filters. We've got your polarizer filter, uh, an ND, a two stop, a four stop, and then a ten stop in there somewhere. This is a really dark ten stop for when I get some time. Hopefully I'll go do some long exposure seascapes, which is what I love to do. Um, and what else have we got? <clears throat> Just a few other cleaning accessories. Got to have a lens pan. These are great. Uh, cables for connecting pocket wizards. Oh, most importantly, can't forget memory cards. Got to have memory cards. So these will go into a little think tank uh, pixel pocket, I think it's called. And I keep a, a, a bunch of uh, 16 and 8 gig uh, SanDisk S, uh, CD, CF cards, sorry, in there, along with a bunch of business cards for any potential clients. We all have, so have a little grey card 
a little white balance checker. These are cheap, I picked these up online for about uh, $10 or something. But it works pretty good, pretty handy and nice and small. And <clears throat> that's about it for the camera bag. Apart from that, my laptop will also slide into this bag as in the front there. And uh, I will also take along a tripod for when I get some time to do some hobby shooting. So I won't be taking my big tripod, traveling light, so I take this smaller Manfrotto, uh, just, a, just a smaller tripod. This still holds up pretty good. Uh, not so great with something with these battery grips or with like a 1D series body. It can slide around a little bit, but it does the job. You just got to be a bit patient with it and careful. And uh, if you don't clip it in pop properly, uh, it'll it'll fall off. I've had my old Mark II, which I'm filming with now, and this 17 to 40 went crashing to the deck after the plate wasn't attached in properly. It's a little bit fiddly, but it gets the job done and it saves the weight of carrying a big, heavy, uh, the bigger tripods and things like that. So it makes life easier for traveling. So that's it. Um, yeah, that's what I'll be taking with me to Australia this time for this shoot. Um, so it's not a, not that much gear, but it's enough to get the job done and cover everything that I need. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to follow me and my work, uh, please come by PeteLeong.com. You'll see a link below here. Uh, from there, you'll you'll see links to all my other uh, social network sites and things. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook. Uh, at facebook.com slash photoshisa. I'm on Flickr. I'm on all the rest of them, G Plus as well. Um, uh, so please leave a comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more. Let me know. Thanks for watching.